we're back out here at the big lake once again and if you're looking for a finesse presentation that you can fish a little bit faster or a little bit slower to fit the mood of those fall bass boy have i got the answer for you stick around you don't want to miss this one. Oh, there we go Ooh, that feels okay did i miss it yeah i missed it no i didn't he's just coming with me Ooh, there we go And here is this video's featured comment. Congratulations. If you would like to have a chance to have your comment featured in an upcoming video, all you've got to do is leave a comment. And now, on with the video. Welcome back to Lowbrow Fishing. And it's no secret that during the fall, those bass can be very fickle. They can be very finicky, especially as those conditions change, right? Some days are warm, some days are cold, some days are rainy, some days are bluebird skies, you know, and conditions can change hour to hour every day. And those bass, they really can't get into a groove, you know. Now here in South Mississippi, they are finding their stride, but still we've got a lot of windy days and we've still got a lot of cooler nights. So you still have to adjust how you are fishing for those bass. Now. A lot of times that means slowing things down. Even here, that water temperature will get down into the 60s. It's not there yet, but it will be there soon. And that means finesse presentations. Now, a lot of guys I know will go to something like a finesse jig or a Texas rig worm. And I've talked about those presentations before. They're great. But one of my favorite and most productive finesse presentations all year round, but especially right now in the fall, well, it's going to be the Wacky Rig. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Wacky Rig. I talk about it all the time. I've done so many videos on it, but today we're going to be talking about how you can use this tool in three different ways to help your fall fishing. Fishing it a little slower, fishing it a little faster, and I'm going to give you a bonus. I'm going to show you a sneaky trick that is kind of like my secret weapon. It's something that I pull out in the fall and pretty much only in the fall and it works so well for me. It's something that generates so many bites for me because I don't see any other anglers doing it. It's something that just that I came up with a while ago and it's just something that works for me. So first and foremost, right, this guy right here. On a windy day, it's not going to do you a lot of good, but on a slick, calm day, whenever you've got bluebird skies or even when you've got cloudy skies, you can go with a weightless wacky rig. Now you can rig it with a NACO by putting a nail rig in there, but today we're talking about rigging it as a weightless wacky rig. I can skip this under docks, I can skip this under brush, but most importantly what I'm doing with this right now is I'm following along those sun lines, where that sun is creating lines on the water. It's like we talked about before, how the bass are on the other side of that. In the fall and in the winter, they're on the sunny side as opposed to being on the shady side in the spring and in the summer. So this is what I'm using whenever conditions are calm. That wind is a little bit more slack. The water doesn't really have a lot of, you know, ripple to it, doesn't have a lot of waves to it. Because if I try to fish this even with a NACO rig, even if I put a nail weight in there and I try to fish it under windy conditions, you know, I'm just giving myself a lot of aggravation because the wind is going to blow the line and it's going to make it very hard for me to work and it's just going to be more frustration than it's worth. But in a sleek, calm day, this is going to be one of my go-tos. This is going to be one of the first things that I pick up and one of the first things that I start working. You guys know, you guys have seen, I can't tell you how many fish I've caught, even just in the past month, how many fish I've caught working the wacky rig. So let's say I need to work something, it's got a little bit more weight to it, work it a little bit faster, it's a little bit windier day, but I still want all the benefits of a wacky rig. What do I do then? Well, I've got just the thing for you. Now, a lot of you viewers that have been around for a long time are going to automatically know exactly where I'm going. And that's this guy right here, the wacky jig. I've taken the skirt off of a Bitsy Flip jig or a Bitsy Bug, it'll work. Any one quarter ounce or three sixteenths ounce jig will work just fine. 
take the skirt off of it and wacky rig a worm to it. Just use a regular O-ring, wacky rig it like you would a regular wacky rig hook. And I'm telling you what, this is the ticket. This is the deal. This is going to get you those bites. This is going to allow you to work that bait in a faster way or on a windier day, you know, because it's got that quarter ounce weight and it's not rocketing down to the bottom. It's still falling fairly slowly at a rate of less than one foot a second. If, if you want to go up to a 3 8 ounce size jig, you can do that a little bit deeper water, a little bit thicker vegetation, and that'll work just fine. Today, I was working this around timber, so I have it on this. I've got it on my Baitcast 7.1. Um, we've got a seven foot medium heavy here, 12 pound floral. This is, you know, this is nothing major. This is nothing special or fancy. Just your regular do it all, regular bait cast combo. And I've also fished this many, many times on a spinning combo. It's worked just fine on a spinning combo. And today I just happened to have it on this. And you know, you can see that I had a little bit of grass, but for the most part, I was working it around timber. I was working it around bare, hard clay bottom. And that's what was working today is I had to have, because of the wind, I had to have just a little bit more control over that line. That little quarter ounce, it gave me that. It gave me the ability to work this bait the way I wanted to work it without losing that wacky rig flat. It still goes down. It still flaps down just the way you want it. And it still works underwater the way you want it. So I could work this in the wind. And if I wanted to, I could work it just a little bit faster. And one of the best parts about this is I can skip it almost as good as I can a regular wacky rig setup. It skips just fine. And if I'm using a really wide jig head, like an Arky jig or something of that nature on there, I can really skip this thing way back up underneath. And that can come in handy if you're looking to find those stubborn fish that are just way back under brush. Now, today they were mostly out on the edge of weed line, so I didn't have to go back too far in after them. But this this just works if you haven't tried the wacky jig if you have not tried using this i'm telling you you will get bites especially now especially on those windy days but we're not done yet i've got another secret trick that i want to share with you it's sort of a hack it's something that i came up with several years ago and it's something that i use especially in the fall time so i know you're going to get a kick out of that There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that. See how that is? That was a nice catch right there off of that. Hooked him good. That was that was with the wacky rig. You know, that's number three today that we've caught like that. He's a beautiful bass. Gorgeous, gorgeous bass. And that was on the old, that was on the tendril. So as you can see, that's a really good technique. It, it, it I've caught just a, in just a little while. I've put myself on some good bass. Um, I've done it with the wacky rig version, and I've done it with the Texas rig version. So there you go, buddy. Thank you. Let me see if I can pull another one off of that pile. So we know about the wacky rig and we know about the wacky jig or the stupid rig, whatever you want to call it. But there's something that I do in the fall to my stick baits that gives me just a little bit more flutter. It gives me just a little bit more, you know, appeal on the fall. And that is this. And that is, you know, I'm cutting these worms. I cut them down this way and then crossways this way. And I do that to both sides. And then... You put your O-ring on and you fish it like a wacky rig, you know, or better yet, you can put your O-ring on and then cut it. It's usually how I do it. It's usually a little bit easier that way because it can be, you know, kind of a kind of a process to get the O-ring over that. But this flutters and flaps very gently, especially on that weightless wacky rig. But it also does it really nicely on the wacky jig where it flutters down it has these little tendrils that kind of flap in the water and give it just that little bit more subtle action. It's not like beating the fish over the head. It's not like, you know, screaming in their face. It's very subtle. 
But when I'm having a tough time getting bites, and it's one of those days where you really have to grind at it, well, that's when I pull this out. And I'm telling you that this thing right here, well, it's practically cheating. I know it is practically cheating because of how many more bites I can get by doing this. I don't know what it is, but there's something about this little setup that those fish find tantalizing. And like any other type of wacky rig, it skips amazingly well. And it's got that great flutter on the fall. So next time, maybe you want to try something different. You want to try something a little bit out of the ordinary, something you haven't done before, something that you can use, you know, that nobody else on your fishery is going to be using. Give this a try. I've had so much success with this in the past, and it's so easy to do. And like I said, those fish, they find this irresistible. You will get extra bites. I am sure of it. So, you know, having a hard time, tie this on. I know you're going to love the results. So there you have it. Some of my best wacky rig tips and tricks that I use every single time it comes to the fall. When those fish get in a funk, that's what I'm pulling out and that's what gets me bites. I'm telling you that wacky jig is amazing, especially around timber on those windier days when fishing a weightless presentation is just a no-go. And cutting up the tips of your worm and making a flayed out wacky rig it gets so many bites. It is so appealing to those fish. So if you want to have something to keep in your back pocket to entice those fish when nothing else seems like it will, I'm telling you, give that a try and you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching, Little Brow Fishing. We'll catch you in the next one.